All right, so HTML trace server. This is the communication between VS Code and the HTML language server. So what is a language server? So um, VS Code uh, implements a language server protocol, which is essentially a JSON object, right? And uh, VS Code and the language server, they send J JSON ob objects back and forth. And a language server is essentially uh, a little piece of software that offers a particular language, code completion, syntax highlighting, um, uh, these uh, little hover informations, um, what else, you know, a bunch of other um, features, linting, uh, uh, error fixing, I don't remember, remember the name for that, but that, that's essentially what it is. Uh, and so you can actually uh, see this communication happening in real time. So you have three options here, you have off, messages and verbose. Let's go with messages first. Let me show you um, these. So messages traces the communication between VS Code and the HTML language server. Well, okay, cool. Doesn't say much, but let's actually take a look. So if we come here, we have uh, a JSON file and an HTML file. So uh, we expect to have a JSON language server and an HTML language server. Okay, so let's go into the HTML language server. Let's take a look at this because it's the one where um, we have activated, right? We set it to messages. So if we come into the uh, HTML file and we start writing stuff, all of this information these suggestions, uh, the description of these suggestions that you see here, that my image is going over, all of this information is coming from the language server, HTML's language server, right, through that protocol. And you can see what's happening. Sending request, text document hover, received response, text document hover right, uh, in zero milliseconds. So this is, it's quite fast, right? So when you change to a different hover, it's going to communicate with the language server and immediately get a response and show that to you. So this is the message um, option. You have another one, which is the verbose, which is kind of hard to deal with because you actually see the JSON objects going back and forth and they are quite big and a few keystrokes, and you have a lot of JSON objects going back and forth. So let me show you what it looks like. So I press C, it communicates back and forth uh, at least two times. Uh, one time to, sh to get the suggestion list, and another time to see the classes, um, the classes description. So if I choose content editable, it's going to ask for the description of content editable content editable. If I uh, choose context menu, it's gonna, gonna ask for that description. And you can actually come here and analyze that. So you see, for example, let's see an easy one. Um, for the class, you actually see, no, actually let's go, hang on, let's, sorry about that. Let's try this again. Okay, so if we change the context menu, Okay, we can now look for the ID of a menu and we can come here and there it is. The ID, what? Sorry about that. Can I select this? Yes. And you, ha you have the link here. You can see the link. Um, why? I don't really get this format. The ID of a menu, then the menu has these parentheses here. Oh, now I get it. You see what's happening? Um, the whole text is this hover information. 
Not sure if this one has one too. It has. Yeah, so a verbos shows you all of that communication, all of the those JSON objects going back and forth. And messages just gives you kind of the doesn't show you the actual JSON, just shows you the um you know, it just tells you what's happening. Quite a a lot of stuff yeah so um, this is useful only if you're uh, developing a language server and you want to make sure that it's correctly communicating with VS code or well in this case VS code but if you're um, the, the beautiful thing about language servers and the language server protocol is that you can build one la one single language server uh, and it can communicate with any editor so you can test it. It doesn't really matter if you're testing it with VS Code or with any any other editor because the communication is, uh, if everything's going well, the same. Okay, so let's leave this off because this is just if you're building a language server. Um, and carry on.